Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra Update 31. We're jumping in again this time. I'm going to be playing a little, a little bit of Robot and seeing what we can do as Robot. In terms of our first crown here, I'm not sure what I'm going to go for. Uh, maybe I'll just go for non. Maybe I'll go for random. Um, I could go with a Crown of Drowning. Uh, that could be kind of fun. We'll maybe see if that's had any changes to it at all. At the minute, we don't have a weapon that consumes ammo, so it's useless to us. But um, we can pretty quickly find one, I'm sure. Yeah, Jaw Split here. So... Basically, with this crown, anytime we, um... Okay, you can't escape that now. That's interesting. When you open that up, you, you are stuck. That's very intriguing to note. But yeah, basically now, uh, when we run out of ammo, we're going to spawn a little kraken. That kraken will run around and kill stuff for us. Generally pretty good. I'm intrigued to see if anything's changed in the skeleton area. No, 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 no. This will spawn a boss, though, won't it? Let me uh, open this up first. Director grenade launcher, yes, please. Yeah, I thought it would. Ooh, big vulture, hello. He's, uh, I thought he was, like, cursed there, but I think it was just my Kraken spawning. We got the Orbiter. The Orbiter was really good last time, actually, so I'm going to take the Orbiter. Um, and we'll take that as well. Uh, nah, I'll take the Jaw Splitter here. Right, go through. We gain ammo for going through portals as well. Ooh, you do throw some hard choices at me here, but Eagle Eyes has been so good to us in the past. I have to take it. Um, and then absorbing pause as well. I don't take often enough anymore, so I'll take that. But yeah, I, I think something changed down here, but I don't remember. Oh, what? I didn't know they could one-shot you. I'll be honest. I did not know they could one-shot you. That is, uh... That is some news to me. What's going on? Are you meleeing the, the maggots there? What, what the hell, dude? What the hell? But yeah, actually, I'm, I'm going to focus on trying to get to the uh, thingy floor here. Yeah, so if I go in, I just can't escape it. But we do get some safety there. Ecstatic fists would be fun. Um, more rads when eating. More rads when eating would be pretty good. I think I'm going to go for ecstatic fists, though, because that's a pretty big boost to our, uh, our damage output. Especially when we're at full HP, which we are currently. Yeah, you got no ammo to steal, bucker. Okay, I'm going to have to hit these explosive shots back at these guys and want to kill them. For the time. Yeah, you're trying to steal ammo. I ain't got none, boy. Okay, I have made a mistake here. Actually, to be fair, if he fires the explosives at me, I should be able to hit a good amount of them back at him. Yeah, that worked out pretty well, actually. Laser rifle there as well. Um, maybe we go for the throne, but here. And... Hypersomnia. Uh, excuse me? Why am I here? Is that a bug? I'm not in the right area. I ain't in the right area, game. This is not where I chose to go. Kill these because they give us some rads, I guess. Excuse me. Okay. Maybe I can go back in this area? I don't know. Ah, bugger. He was actually pretty easy. Splinter Mace, I will definitely take that. I don't know what pot shot is, but I like the idea of it. Let's go find out what pot shot is. Uh, pot shot's the, the one where it fires two, the, the like double elements. I like that. We're on very low health right now. I should probably snack that up. Dude, that put me on max HP straight away. Wow. I should eat things more often. I should eat things more often. Um... I could go with, like, Boiling Veins and try and make that work, but I'm going to go with Mood Swing because we've got this this thing going on. And I think Pot Shot with Mood Swing might be really, really good. Even uh, enemy-generated poison also creates bullets, so this area becomes a lot easier because everything kills itself. Or potentially kills itself. Oh, 
I'll take the super splinter gun. Quadruple shotgun, baby. Cool. Nice and easy. I like it. I like the way we auto eat guns as well. At the end of stages. I'll eat that one as well, because why not? For some rads, I guess. Frost bullet. Oh, I'm going to take that. Frost is really, really good with uh, mood swing anyways. So. You, you two didn't die from that. There you go. The projectile speed on it's wild, honestly. I love my Kraken crown. It's good, it's good, it's real good. What, what the hell was that there? Um, we could take Boiling Veins as well to get the full suite of stuff going on here. Um, I'm going to take Power Craven first. Bouncer Wave Crossbow, that seems fun. So I think Wave just means it fires it in a burst. Which, again, I'm pretty down with. We've got a lot of AoE going on right now. I like that. Take care of... Oh, really, those gorilla dudes are fucking crazy. we got Bush Box. I don't even know where Bush Box is. Okay, he wasn't too bad, actually. We managed to kill the sheep accidentally. We've, we've run out of ammo, so we, our boys are all we've got. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. To the next floor, baby. And we eat all the guns to get all our ammo back as well. He keeps throwing this one at us, but I'm not going to take it yet. Okay, we can try and go for our regal ability with this character. I'd be pretty interested to see what that is. Pretty interested indeed. Okay, we're getting a lot of Krakens going on here. Quite a lot of Krakens indeed. I might as well just spawn more when I can, right? They do so much damage, like having a few of them just dossing about the players, killing stuff is pretty good. Okay. We do not have extra feet this time around, so we are walking hella slow, wasting our hypersomnia time. God, I've just taken a pretty big hit there. Game, I would like some HP. Actually, do we have any weapons that are laying around on the floor? Robot got a pretty big buff this patch, actually, because weapon drops are just more common now. He has more things to eat. Um, oh, really? Right when we're, like, super, super, super low on ammo. Okay, he did move over to, to get us. Did I not actually touch this? Wow. I thought I did. Ah, oh, man. That was too difficult. That was just too difficult. Uh, we'll try again. Um, I still don't ever, never really know the best crown to start with. Obviously, weapon uh, crown of choice is still good. It's just not what it used to be. I guess we'll take it and kind of show off what it's like now. Um, basically, it's just you don't get as many extra chests. As you can see. Not as many. No, I'm joking. There's still fucking loads here. So I'm going to take this thing. This thing's pretty awesome. Disc gun. Disc gun is tier 3. And disc gun is, uh... Fucking cursed there. Goddamn. Right. I'm playing pretty poorly right now. I'm still going to go with this crown. I still want to try this out. But yeah, not playing the best right now. Let's see what we can find. I like the, the way that this crystal guy has like a shark fin. <laughs> so we can we can go through there, but we don't want to go through there yet. Oh, it, it seems to stay open forever now, or, or at least a lot longer. At least a lot longer. But yeah, I still want to see what's in the cursed area, because we haven't actually managed to get there yet. I said that was going to be my goal, and I just kind of immediately forgot about it. My brain's funky at the moment, so... We ain't got much of a chance. It's early morning. I say early morning. It's like 11 o'clock. It's early morning for me when it's in terms of recording stuff. That was good. The shotguns are pretty good back up here. 
let's do this before anything goes down. <laughs> Just absolutely ate it there immediately. Do you know what? I'm going to switch out my, my starting weapon, I think. Roboto. Th that's good, but I, I prefer something like that. Thank you. Just going to carry me a bit more and give me a bit more safety. And honestly, I think recently I've, I've learned a lot more about um, using explosives appropriately and ha sort of how to make a good use out of them and be effective with them. Uh, it's definitely helping out a lot. Before, I was super gung-ho with them and it just... It got me killed all the time. It's still going to stick with the shotgun here. Oh, wait, no, now it's closed. So it does seem to have some sort of timer. I'm just not quite sure what that timer is. Let's take the glass. I like the way it keeps us overhealed at 8 out of 6 when we take it. So we still do get to keep the health we have. It doesn't actually lower our HP by 2, even though it lowers our max HP. I mean, that, that's just a sort of fact of the f uh, that the overhealing is a thing in this mod, which is great, like, on its own. Kraken Pistol. <sighs> Kraken Pistol, like, I want to love it, but it always seems to, like, fall a bit short for me. Taking the micro SMG and hoping to get eagle eyes. Hoping that I'm hoping. We'll see. Ooh, we got a golden boy. The golden fool. I love that. I know that this is super risky because he could fire shots, but his shots aren't explosive anymore. So I don't care. <laughs> this thing with eagle eyes is going to absolutely schlibbity schlap. So do I eat all of those when I go through? Yes, I do. Good. Um, no eagle eyes, sadly, yet. I'll take impact wrists, though. But yeah, as much as I want to go see the skeleton stuff and see if there's anything new there, um, I'm okay to do some regular runs here and there. But I'm going to try, try my best next run to go there, because I think with a grenade launcher, I'll have a much better shot. We'll see how long this run ends up going for. Kraken gun. Pretty good. Pretty good. Toxic Assault Rifle. That with Mood Swing would be pretty amazing. Still no Eagle Eyes. Damn. Power Craving though will take that. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff indeed. Power Craving is obviously just in case we like decide to switch weapons a bunch, which at the minute... I don't think I'm going to do. I'd really like to see what Eagle Eyes is like on this thing, even though it is falling off a little bit. But, like, the fact that it fires so fast with such terrible accuracy, I think with Eagle Eyes could make it into an absolute demon. So I want to see it come to fruition, but I don't know if we're going to. I'm going to take an open mind here, because that helps us out with getting more rads, more weapons, all that good stuff. It does seem that our weapon tiers are increasing more, so having more weapons to choose from each floor is not going to be a bad thing for us. Like, look at that. There's, some, there's a minigun in here. I kind of want the minigun, I think. Rope knife. Nah, I'm going to take the minigun. I, as much as I want to see this thing work, it's magic. I think the minigun is going to obviously be the better choice. Uh, and I'll put explosive on it as well, because why the hell not? Why the hell not? I think I have to go for a lie down after this episode. I, I've, I've just done two back to back. I, I know I've just said it's early in the day, but still. I'm allowed to lie down whenever I want. I work from home. <laughs> That's not really how that works. I'm going to pretend like it is for humor. Um, lightning screwdriver accelerator. Mmm. Lightning screwdriver could be interesting. Thrown butt. More rads would be nice. But I think Rhino Skin's the player here, isn't it? I haven't actually been to the throne yet, have I, since this new update? I need to just beat the throne. Let's just focus on that, shall we? Let's just focus as heavily as we can on that. Because, yeah, the minute we... Um, Jaw Crusher, nice. At the minute, we haven't actually beat the throne on the new patch yet, so we're kind of missing out there. Don't suck me in. I saw the rads right there. We're making it decently far here. Hyper Rifle. I'll take the Hyper Rifle, thank you. Yeah, look at the amount of extra guns we're getting here. Fla Is that Flare Shotgun I saw? Or that Flame Shotgun? I think it was Flare Shotgun, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll go with that. I don't see it anymore. We've got a blob gun. I think I'm going to stick with um, with this thing, though. This thing's, like, pretty good. I'm, I'm just feeling bullet weapons right now. The simplicity is an ease to my mind. But, yeah, definitely getting higher tier weapons much, much earlier. Which I cannot be upset with at all. 
pretty awesome. Still, I think this thing is going to carry us where we need to go. I'm kind of forgetting how many floors there is until the throne at this point. Like, it's it's been a little while, boys. It's been a little while. Impact Wrist is really helping as well, actually. Having everything sort of pushed and held back is rather nice. There you go, straight in here. I like what you don't have to quite complete the stage. Um, we'll go for even more damage right now, um, and I'll probably go for lightning on this bad boy. We could probably get rid of that crown at this point, but I'm stuck with it now. Dude, 184 damage. Was that the lightning that did that? That's wild. Oh, bollocks. That was a bit stupid of me. Good old little hunter. It's nice to have the boss intros on for it to slow it down when the boss does spawn, I suppose. Before, it's, a, it's, it's quicker, but kind of harder to notice. Which is definitely a problem. Ooh, the ammo situation we're having right now isn't ideal. I'll be honest, I don't think explosive screwdrivers are all the, 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 the fix that I think it is. Dude. Getting absolutely mullered, my guy. Nuke launcher there. That wasn't the end? Okay. Really thought that was the end of the stage there. Back muscle would be good with this setup, to be honest. Ooh, that car. That car slid and almost got me. Right, we're back here again. Potentially see what our regal thing is. I've got to, like, keep pushing forward as much as possible so that I can keep my ammo relatively alive. If I stay in one place or if I, like, kind of camp a little bit, I've just not got enough ammo to maintain this power. And this power is hefty. I'm getting a lot of nuke launchers at the minute. Where's my golden nuke launcher? Okay. Are we nearly done here? Is it just you? I hate these goddamn bats, man. It was just you. It's even worse. Um, go with adrenaline fuel here. Right, we're going to be fight fighting Big Bat here, so just sort of situate ourselves for when that happens. There you go. Unfortunately, I've situated myself directly above spikes at the moment, so... Okay, he was no problem at all. Now, do we want to do this again? I kind of want to do find what, what, what my regal thing is, so I am going to do it, yeah. The Infinity Shotgun wouldn't be a bad choice if I had shotgun shoulders, but alas, I do not. Okay, take this. I don't even know what this weapon is. Charge Overdriver. Kind of cool. Bouncer Laser Rifle. I don't know if I'll keep this in the next stage. I don't think I will, will I? So my crown. Would have loved to. Oh, dude. At least I know they don't poison anymore. Super Infuser. Chunky Blade Gun. <sighs> Too much ammo. I, I, the reason I'm sticking with this thing is because of the ammo. Explosive Flail uses ammo as well. I'll just stick with this. Oh, wait. Actually, actually. I can take the Infinity Shotgun and make sure I keep it because of uh, it being cursed, which gives us ammo. Okay, what we got going on here now? We got our Ultra. Replace active with Force Shot. I'm not that bothered about that. You can carry three weapons. That's pretty goddamn good. 15% weapon drop rate. Eating weapons has a 30% chance to drop chests. Eating weapons uh, drops a turret. Fires the eaten weapon. Oh, my lord. Um, only high tier weapons drop. It's very nice. Holding only one weapon will increase damage dealt to enemies by 20%. I like that. I like that. I think I'm going to go for that and then uh, make sure I only have one weapon. Which I can't actually do right now, I just realized. Oh wait, no, I can, I can. Okay, okay, first of all, let's survive. I've just got to eat this. Does anyone know what the hell just happened? I'm honestly completely unsure what just happened to me there. I ate my weapon. Is it because it was a cursed weapon? Can you not eat cursed weapons? Is that a thing? Oh shit. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Fun episode nonetheless. Little bit of a weird ending, but I'm going to be trying out this more and more, playing episodes and seeing what we can get unlocked. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one.